the action that I have announced tonight puts the leaders of North Vietnam on notice. We will be patient. But there was something about Vietnam, and particularly Nixon's decision to invade Cambodia, that changed all of that and caused the old university to dissolve. It, it deteriorated and dissolved before everyone's very eyes, and it never came back. Uh, it was gone forever. The degree of opposition to the Vietnam War and really all things Nixon was pervasive here as it was at college campuses throughout America. Uh, you have to also add in uh, the Kent State killings uh, and the Jackson State killings, which occurred at about the same time in May of 1970. Uh, then when the police came and the police overwhelmed the lawn and uh, innocent people who were just around the university were arrested and hurt into a Mayflower van. Uh, we had police going into fraternity houses and dragging people out of the houses because they were suspected of having demonstrated. Uh, police came here to the lawn and pulled people out of lawn rooms. It was, it was kind of a police riot and uh, it, was, it was an outrage and I think it radicalized uh, students here even further. There were uh, strikes by some of the faculty members who didn't uh, want to hold classes. There were demonstrations. Uh, large numbers of police officers and state troopers were brought in here to keep uh, things under control. There, were, uh, there was a week when uh, several of us who uh, were young administrators at the time um, were asked to uh, step in in lieu of uniformed police officers. Uh, in my case, for a week, uh, I would work my regular job and then I'd come back at night and they gave me a buildings and grounds truck and I would patrol the grounds until about midnight or one, depending on the night, and then go home. Uh, on one particular night, um, uh, the state police actually uh, cleared the grounds by, uh, by, by going through the grounds and arresting anyone that had not gone in and, and observed the fact that they shouldn't have been out there uh, based on the position they had taken. Uh, some 70 students were arrested and put in a Mayflower van uh, located at the corner of Rugby Avenue and University Avenue and, and arrested. Um, they were released later and uh, the charges were ultimately dropped. I, I was in high school down in uh, Norfolk, Virginia and I already had committed to the University of Virginia. And this was the biggest story in the state. It was broadcast live on TV. It was on most of the radio stations. Every minute of the uh, uprising, as they called it at UVA, was, uh, was broadcast. And so being young and having access to a car, uh, I felt that I had to be here to see what was going on. And it was just remarkable. It's absolutely incredible, something I'll never forget. And I saw the University of Virginia in a way that I had not conceived of it before. And I think that was true for everybody who had been here for years. They saw a different University of Virginia. So um, I think it really was the watershed moment. I don't think anything was the same afterwards. Uh, and that makes it a very special moment, a very unusual moment in any institution's history. Edgar Shannon was under a lot of pressure during that period of time, uh, but he had a lot of respect for the right of people to express their views, the right of people to demonstrate their feelings, uh, and in a very heroic way, he had a session on a, 
uh, an afternoon where he gathered all of the students and faculty together uh, and, and had a very profound conversation with them from the steps of the rotunda that actually turned things and turned what was a, a, a really dangerous and, and uh, potentially devastating situation into one that became very constructive over a period of a few weeks. Um, I would say that the one photo that changed the University of Virginia more than any other was the photograph of our then very young and active president, but conservative president, Edgar Shannon, uh, who had been in office for 11 years, standing on the steps of the rotunda facing thousands of students and faculty on the lawn and announcing his break with Nixon and the Vietnam War. Uh, he said that he had sent a telegram to the two U.S. Senators from Virginia protesting the war and, and requesting that they exit uh, as quickly as possible and organize the Senate to do so. And then he held up a peace candle and he gave the peace sign, which is something that someone like Edgar Shannon with a Navy background in World War II and a very conservative upbringing could never have been imagined to actually have done. Uh, but the lawn erupted and nothing was ever the same. I, I really think it was the, the background, the rotunda and the lawn, seeing Edgar Shannon do that, the president of the University of of Virginia, Thomas Jefferson's University, rebel against the current president and the current regime and the current war policy, uh, just change things here for the short term and the long term. And for many years afterward, that photo became a defining image of the University of Virginia. The architecture, the art, and public affairs all melded together and produced a very different university.